utilitarian approach to Marx, moral rights approach to Marx, uh, social romantry, social justice approach to Marx. And ethics, strategic governance and ethics, November 2019, question 5, Roman 1, A, Roman 1, utilitarian utilitarian approach this is a concept utilitarian approach is a concept that uh, states that uh, moral behaviors moral behaviors produce the greatest good for the greatest number okay the theory states that moral behaviors produce the greatest good for the greatest number and uh, this uh, this this theory under this theory or they can say the theory determines this is utilitarian approach the utilitarian approach determines right from wrong by focusing on on by focusing on the outcomes or behaviors it is a form of uh, it is a form of consequentialism. It is a form of consequentialism. It is a form of consequentialism from the word consequence. We are talking of outcomes. We are talking of the, the, the behavior, right? The outcomes. It's a form of consequentialism. And uh, this approach holds that uh, the most ethical choice is the one that will produce uh, the greatest good for the greatest number okay the most ethical choice is the one that will produce is the one that produces the greatest good for the greatest number that is uh, what the utilitarian approach states in a nutshell it um, holds that the most ethical choice is the one that uh, produces the greatest good for the greatest number. That is the utilitarian approach. Number two, we have the moral rights approach. Moral rights approach. Moral rights approach the moral rights approach. This is also another ethical concept that uh, moral decisions are those uh, that best maintain the rights of those people affected by them. The moral rights under this theory asserts that human beings have fundamental rights and liberties that cannot be taken away. Human beings have fundamental rights and liberties human beings have fundamental rights and liberties that cannot be taken away from them okay they cannot be taken away from them by an individual's decision every human being has rights has liberties that cannot be taken away by an individual's decision then number three, the third concept is a social justice approach. Social justice approach. What does it state? Social justice approach. As such that uh, moral decisions must be based on, on standards of equity, fairness, and impartiality. Okay? moral decisions it's a, I said that moral decisions must be based on on equity on fairness equity equity fairness and impartiality and impartiality and impartiality equity means justice fairness or impartiality so um, these are
three very important uh, concepts. And if I can mention something about on, on justice, uh, by the way, the candidates were just expected to give brief description of, of these concepts, but there is a lot that can be said about these concepts, like the social justice concept. This concept, under this concept, there are uh, different types of justice, okay, that may be of concern to managers. For example, we have the, the distributive justice, the, the procedural justice. We may also mention the compensatory justice, distributive justice, and the procedural justice, and the, and the compensatory justice. These are types of justice that may be of concern to managers. Now, uh, candidates, distributive justice requires that a different treatment of people um, uh, should not be based on arbitrary characteristics, all right? People who differ in a substantive way, uh, such as job skills or job uh, responsibility, can be treated differently in proportion to the differences in skills or responsibility among them. So as a manager, when you are dealing with employees, the employees are different. So you should not treat employees equally because some are uh, skilled, others are not skilled. The kind of uh, expectation that you, you would want from uh, employee B may not be the one that should uh, be expected from employee C. So that is distributive justice, okay? Different people may be treated differently based on um, different characteristics or, uh, or endowment. And uh, procedural justice uh, requires that rules be administered fairly. That is procedural justice requires that rules be administered fairly. These rules should be clearly stated, all right? The rules should be clearly stated and consistently and impartially enforced. That is procedural justice. You may have rules in relation to leave, okay? Promotions and all that. So it's, they are supposed to be administered fairly. There should be no unfair treatment, okay? or favoritism when it comes to the application or enforcement of rules. Then uh, compensatory justice argues that individuals should be compensated for the cost of their injuries by the party responsible, okay? That is compensatory justice. So there's a lot that can be said, but the question only required candidates to des briefly describe because each concept here would earn the candidate two marks each. Moving on to part B,